welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, today is exciting because we are finally doing a Trader Joe's haul. It has been, I think, six months since I've been to Trader Joe's and I've been putting off going Trader Joe's for so long just because I don't really like grocery shopping anymore. I used to love it. COVID changed me. I got used to going like once a month. Now it seems like a hassle. But I was pretty much out of all my Trader Joe's stuff, so it was imperative that I made it to Trader Joe's this weekend. The weather is nice. It was a good day to do it. So with that, I think this is probably my biggest Trader Joe's haul I've done maybe ever, and it's going to be a lot. So we need to start unpacking, but I got a lot of good stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm just going bag by bag. I'm starting with frozen and cold stuff. I picked up a lot of my favorite frozen stuff, but I also picked up a lot of new stuff, so I'm excited to try that. I picked up this fat, <laughs> the fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> this is fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, I need some caffeine, guys. Um, I've heard really good things about this. I've never tried it, but it's one of those meals where you just dump it in a saucepan and cook it, and the sauce is frozen with it and melts as you cook it. So super easy, maybe lunch or dinner one night. You can cut fries I've had before. Um, this vegetable fried rice I've actually never tried, but I've heard really good things about it. And so when we make our favorite mandarin orange chicken, we can make that with it. I got these roasted potatoes, peppers, and onions. One of my favorite side dishes. So good for breakfasts or brunches and just so easy to make, but also it's a good side for dinner. So I love to have that on hand. I got my favorite French cut green beans. They didn't have these the last time I was there. So I was excited to get them. Well, actually, I don't think they're French cut. They're just from France, but they're super thin and delicious, and they're my favorite. Then we have this. I've never tried this before. It's a vegetable stir fry with zucchini noodles. So again, when we make our frozen Chinese food, I thought that would be super good to have on hand. These sweet potato gnocchis, which I can feel are thawing out pretty fast, so I need to get these in the freezer. One of my favorites. It has butter and sage in it, and it tastes like Thanksgiving. Just the flavor of this is so delicious. And then I also got my usual fire roasted bell peppers and onions and a fire roasted corn. I think I have another bag of this in another bag because um, I like to stock up on that because I love it for soups, chilies, my little quinoa bowls I prep for lunches sometimes. And then also, you guys know I love their raviolis, and this was a new one that I saw, and it just looks so interesting. Sweet corn, um, burrata, is that how you say that? And basil ravioli. So creamy ricotta and burrata cheese ravioli filled with sweet corn and basil. Just looked interesting. I can't really imagine like what I would put on this. Maybe just butter and serve it as a side with a protein. But I wanted to try it because it just looked different. And then I also got this ricotta and lemon zest ravioli I've had before. I put these in the freezer, by the way and they keep really well in the freezer, and then I take them out when I want them. Guys, I tried to be really good with desserts because to be honest, the last two days we ate like trash. We just ate carry out two nights in a row, and I just, I wanna stay on track. Like I've been so good, but I saw these and they just looked so summery and delicious, and Derek actually loves lemon bars and so these are freezer by the way so you keep them in the freezer and then I just figure we could take them out as we need them not need them but want them like you know individually which is nice so you don't have to like defrost them all at the same time and then of course I got my favorite little yogurts I love these as afternoon snacks um, I have another one in another bag as well so I have raspberries and cream and then I also got the peaches and mango but they're really, really good. All my video cut off. I'm sorry, guys. I ran out of storage, so I had to delete some stuff. But yeah, I was talking about these yogurts. This is the other one I was talking about, the peaches and cream. They're super good. Okay, some other cold stuff. Just got some milk. We needed that. I wanted to talk to you guys about this pimento cheese dip. This stuff is the bomb. I bought this on a whim the last time I was at Trader Joe's, and I didn't film that haul. This stuff is so good. I actually picked up three of these, which is kind of embarrassing, but they last... I think through the end of July. So I wanted to have them on hand to eat them with crackers, but I also thought this might be really good on a grilled cheese sandwich. So wanted to have lots of those, some feta for salads. I've got carrots. I got this boars and cheese. I think I want to do like a little cheese tray when we have our family over this summer and that stays good for a while. And I also got the classic unexpected cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. 
I've actually never tried this, so I'm anxious to try it and see what all the hype is about. I got some fruit, I got some pineapple chunks. I always like to pick those up when I'm at Trader Joe's. We have recently become obsessed with Kerrygold butter for our bagels and toast and such, so I picked up two blocks of that. I picked up, again, salad stuff, so I have some romaine. I picked up these grilled chicken strips. These are in the refrigerated section, and I love them. They're super convenient. They actually taste really good for refrigerated chicken. It's much better than the Purdue brand, so I like to pick those up. You can also freeze them. I'm going to eat this this week in salads. Um, you can eat them cold, or you can heat them up. Cucumber. I also picked up this salad. I'm going to actually have this for lunch today. Again, trying to detox a little bit after all the junk food the last two days. So I'm going to have that and it looks really good and it comes with everything you need. You just mix it up. Very convenient. Grab and go. Um, my favorite butternut squash, squash raviolis. I picked up this organic caprese ravioli. Looked pretty good. I think I've had this one before maybe. And then I picked up this frozen chicken burrito bowl. I had this once before and it was actually pretty good and I just like to have it on hand, you know, when I start running low on groceries or if I'm in a pinch and I need something really quick to heat up for lunch, it's nice to have on hand. And then I picked up this flatbread. This is the burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread. I actually had no intention of picking this up, but there was this customer in the store who was picking it up and I was chatting with him and he was talking about how good it is. I actually don't like prosciutto, but I trust him. He seems like a really reliable fellow. So we're gonna try that. And then of course I got my favorite flatbread, the tart um, with the French style, uh, the flatbread cream, ham and caramelized onions with Gruyere cheese. So good, classic, delicious, always a winner. More frozen stuff. So I got our favorite mac and cheeses, the jalapeno, or it's the hatch chili. Mac and cheese, this is the spicy one we like, and then the traditional mac and cheese. Just love that for easy sides on weeknights. I got, again, some more veggies. I got some peas, and then our favorite ice creams from Trader Joe's. I have yet to find an ice cream that is like Trader Joe's in our regular grocery stores. It's just so good. It's so rich and thick. It's almost custard-like, and I got our favorite flavor. So mint chip, Derek and I both like this one. He's a classic vanilla guy. And then my ultra chocolate ice cream. Love it so much. And then more fire corn. Like, I wasn't kidding when I told you guys I love that stuff. And then this is a new one for me. Trader Joe's has had this forever, but these chili lime chicken burgers, these are frozen. And I thought these would just be good to have on hand if we want to throw them on the grill one night. And I don't know, it just looked like something different for us to try. So I'm excited to try those. And I picked up a ton of bread on this uh this venture. I don't know. I just, I guess I was feeling all the carbs today, but to be fair, I always run out of Trader Joe's bread, probably the quickest of all the stuff I pick up from them. And then I'm so sad because their bread is literally the best. So I picked up my favorite everything Tuscan pain bread. This is legit the best bread I've ever had in my life. It's so good for toast. That's what I use it for mostly, but also I can thaw it out and use it for sandwiches. So my favorite thing to do with this bread is actually to put cream cheese on it, toasted, and then put some of the everything but the bagel seasoning on it. It's so good. Also avocado on this is really good, like avocado toast. So I got that. Again, I put all this bread stuff in the freezer so it lasts longer. I also am trying their sourdough sliced bread. I've never gotten this before, but I wanted to try it. I know the San Francisco sourdough is supposed to be the best, but unfortunately it's got a peanut warning on it. So couldn't pick up that. Also picked up some avocados and some bell pepper I forgot to mention earlier for my salad stuff. Picked up some baking soda, not exciting, but we actually are really low on this. I was baking last night and I was like, wow, we need baking soda. So I made sure to get that today. I also picked up their habanero lime flour tortillas. Again, these are so good. I think I've mentioned them in hauls before, but I freeze them and I use them for wraps. A little spicy, not, not crazy, but they're really good. Also picked up some lavish flatbread. This is very similar to what I get at Lidl. So I saw that there and we actually only have one left in the freezer. So I made sure to grab a pack of that. I also picked up some sunflower seed spread. Um, I get sun butter usually because I have a peanut allergy and we're almost out of it. And I saw this at Trader Joe's and luckily it says it's peanut free. So I went ahead and picked that up since we needed it. And we don't need any more barbecue sauce, but this one was new at Trader Joe's. They had so much good like summery grilling stuff and sweet and spicy pineapple barbecue sauce just sounded 
so good so even though we didn't need it I picked it up but it's actually good through 2022 so even if it's just in the pantry for a while while we're using other stuff up like it's good to have on hand because we do have the smoker and we grill a lot so we'll definitely go through it also I just picked up some shelf stable stuff we like to have I love um Trader Joe's olive oil this like huge container of it bottle is $7.99 and it actually comes with the little dispenser top you put on it so I always like to have one of those on hand for when we run out I've actually not tried any of Trader Joe's baking stuff so I picked up this brownie truffle baking mix we actually don't have any brownie mix right now and that's another thing I like to have on hand just if we're in a pinch and I have company coming over and I want to make a quick dessert and luckily this one didn't have a peanut warning on it and then this is actually something I'm out of that I really loved having last summer this mango black tea you can drink it hot um, but my favorite way to drink it is cold so I'll brew it like like regular hot tea but I'll let it sit on the counter for a little bit and then I'll pour it over ice so it's like a mango flavored iced tea and it's delicious and you know it has that like sweet mango flavor without there being sweetener in it which is great so it's healthier and it's delicious and refreshing I also picked up just some snack stuff so these oven baked bites these were actually new these are the tomato and chili flavor so I wanted to give these a try we love the wisps like I like putting them in my salad so that's the Trader Joe's equivalent again I mentioned I want to do like a little cracker cheese plate one night so pick these up some other sauces you guys know I love Trader Joe's enchilada sauce so I had to pick up a bottle of that it's so good and then I also saw this jalapeno sauce this was a new item a spicy and flavorful sauce made with fresh jalapenos so I don't know what I want to do with, it, with this I was almost wondering like would that be good as a enchilada sauce or do you just kind of use it as a condiment I don't know if you guys have tried this let me know or if you have ideas for this I am welcome to them so let me know your thoughts um again Trader Joe's I feel like I went condiment crazy but they always have the best this chili lime mayonnaise not even a huge mayonnaise fan gonna be honest like I hate mayo but HelloFresh has kind of changed me because I feel like they always have the most gourmet mayos and I do love chipotle mayo out at restaurants on burgers so I wanted to give this a try and be a little adventurous and I got those chili lime chicken burgers so I thought that might be good on top of that this was actually that was a summer item of theirs and then this Cajun style alfredo sauce I believe this was a new item as well I thought this sounded really good like for an easy weeknight dinner just make some alfredo noodles fettuccine noodles and then grill some chicken or something it would probably make a really good dinner so I'm excited to try this and maybe I'll do a follow-up video with this one to let you guys know how this stuff was and then I also picked up for some pasta oh that almost went on the floor that would have been bad Ooh. um I picked this up to make it up. um and I think oh wait the sparkling lemonade okay that was the last thing so I picked up this French Margaret Sparkling Pink Lemonade. Just, just looked pretty and looked good, so we're gonna try it. Last couple of things, I got a watermelon, and then speaking of watermelons, you guys probably saw I took some B-roll of me going through their little makeup skincare section, and I saw this watermelon overnight face mask, and it just looked really fun, and I wanna give it a shot because I've heard really good things about their skincare stuff and it caught my eye so I'm actually really excited to use this tonight I love face mask and I love the idea of like watermelon because it's just such like a moisturizing not moisturizing but you know like the idea of watermelon it's refreshing like it's filled with water probably good for the skin so hopefully this works out for me but I'm pretty excited to try it and then the other thing I splurged on was this little candle set I've heard good things about Trader Joe's candles I've actually never tried them these were limited edition because it's their like summer collection but I actually love these size candles um, in our kitchen and these just the scents seem like so good I'll actually pull these out so we can smell them together but so strawberry basil watermelon mint and then pineapple cilantro let me get these out of the packaging okay let's try these candles I'm excited okay so this one is strawberry basil Ooh, it's super sweet smelling but not like over sugary like super sugary if you know what I mean it's like a light light sweet scent 
And you can definitely smell the basil a little bit. I think I might burn this one first. That one smells really good. Okay, also watermelon mint. Ooh, okay, that one, it's giving me like nostalgia. Also, Derek is doing a project, of course, so you know, the white noise. Um, what would my videos again be without the hammering, you know? Um, this smells like double bubble bubble gum. Do you guys remember that? I really have not had that bubble gum, I think, since I was a kid, but that's what it smells like. It also kind of smells like sometimes, you know, you get go out and you get like a watermelon, like alcoholic beverage and they throw like mint in it. Of course, I mean, it's watermelon mint, but it does smell like that. So that smells really good. And pineapple cilantro is the last one. Oh, that one's like very understated. Like, oh my God, these sounds in the background. Sorry, guys. This one smells really good too. I like all three. And honestly, they were only $7.99 for all of them, which I think is a great deal. Also would make a really cute gift. Um, look at the box. Like, I don't think I should have boxed it well, but look at the side. Like, it's just so cute. So I'm excited to burn these. I'm gonna light one right now. I had to relocate because the construction downstairs was way too loud. Luckily, it was towards the end of my video and you might still be able to hear it. A little bit but hopefully not as much I wanted to go ahead and wrap up the video the other thing I wanted to mention is they had so much like fun looking skincare and I hope I included like some b-roll of the aisle the other thing I saw that was very summery that I was really tempted to buy but I ended up not buying was the watermelon setting spray or like skin mist that looked so nice but I just know myself and I have setting sprays but I only pick them up like once in a blue moon. So I feel like I, I would get better use out of the overnight mask than the setting spray. But that setting spray, I bet if you put that in the fridge and then sprayed it on, it would be so refreshing. That would probably be so nice. I also wonder if I could put the watermelon overnight mask in the fridge. That might, that might be an idea. I have to look into that. Can you do that? I feel like that would be so refreshing. Like I know people put those little eye gels in the fridge and then put them on. I'll have to look into it, but I hope you guys enjoyed my Trader Joe's haul. It was a big one. I'm really thrilled about all the stuff I got. I will say I spent a lot of money today. I think I spent around $225, which is way more again than I ever like to spend at the grocery store because I've really scaled down my grocery store spending. But again, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in six months, so I think it's fine. Also, I was really upset. I mean, not even upset. I was like distraught. One of my favorite and like must get items at Trader Joe's are their mashed potatoes, the frozen ones. They didn't have any. And the sweet employee there, she was like in that section and I asked her because I couldn't find them. And she went in the back and she looked everywhere and she was like, we're, I think we're out of them because they put extra of this product in the spot where they normally would. So I think we're out of them. And I was like, no, like they are so good. Like I love having those like when I make pot roasts and just stuff like that to eat over top. So I'm going to ha probably have to go back probably sooner than six months again, just because like literally those mashed potatoes give me life like I know like I shouldn't be that dependent on Trader Joe's mashed potatoes but they're so good anyways it was a really really successful Trader Joe's haul I hope you guys enjoyed it's always my favorite to do Trader Joe's hauls and I'm so glad that I finally woke up with the motivation to go because I was really struggling like literally the last two weekends I kept saying like I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's this weekend and then I didn't so I am happy to have some Trader Joe's stuff back in my life. If you guys like videos like this, I do do grocery hauls pretty often. Um, as much as I don't like grocery shopping anymore, I do enjoy doing grocery hauls still. So it's fun. And I also do lots of other fun videos on my channel. Go check out my latest Disney vlogs. I posted two of my last two videos were Disney vlogs. If you're a Disney fan, go check those out. I also post other lifestyle content and beauty content. I hope you guys are all doing well and I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.